Once you've logged into Sitebulb, you'll find yourself on a projects page like this. And this projects page is where all your audit data will live, and they'll be arranged into the different projects that you set up. Remember, there's no limit to the number of projects you can have. So, to get started, go across to add a new project. Enter your start URL and give the project a name. Once you hit save and continue, Sitebulb then runs a series of pre-audit checks, which helps to make sure the website is accessible, and will in some cases advise you of certain settings you need to choose. For example, if Sitebulb finds lots of JavaScript on the homepage, it will suggest that you select the Chrome crawler for JavaScript rendering. The main audit options are available on this page, and you can toggle things on or off as you choose. Notice that some of the audit options also have advanced settings, which can give you more granular control. You can add Google Analytics or Google Search Console via these buttons on the left. You just need to authenticate your account. To add XML sitemaps or URL lists to your crawl, select them from here. There's lots of advanced settings to explore if you wish to do things like add URL exclusions or change the robot's rules, you'll find all those settings in the left hand menu. The crawler settings allow you to switch between the HTML crawler and the Chrome crawler. The Chrome crawler is what you will need if you want to do JavaScript rendering, but just note that it is necessarily slower. You can also add or adjust your crawl limits in this section. Bear in mind that the crawl limit is not restricted to HTML pages. This will also include external links and page resources. So if you wish to set specific limits and restrict Sitebulb to only crawling internal HTML pages, flick back to the audit data options and you can turn these off. You'll find external links in the SEO advanced settings. And you simply need to untick page resources to turn that off. Finally, if you wish to add a scheduled or recurring crawl, you can do this via the scheduling options here. You can add a one-off scheduled crawl, or you can set the audits to run on a recurring schedule. Once your order is all set up and ready to go, hit start now and the crawler will fire up and begin the order in real time. You can monitor the progress of your audit through the audit progress screen and if you switch back to the projects page you'll see the running tab now has an entry. You can click back into that at any point to check the progress of your crawl. Once your audit is complete it will appear and be accessible from the projects page. Please check out our YouTube channel for more how-to videos.